yes. <laughs> so, uh, Ankita is doing very well for herself, Nupurji. Great, that's great. That's trying something out here. Okay, so we will start our talk uh, for Smiley. Smiley on her hopes and dreams of doing a Broadway musical, her life motto. And her topic is, if I can, you can, based on her experience in film acting, dancing, and theater. So, Miley Suri, most popularly known as Jia Thak Thak Girl, made her debut. Dharak. Yeah, Dharak Dharak, okay. Uh, in uh, debut in 2005 with her big hit, Kalyu. I hope everybody remembers Kalyu, directed by her little brother, Kido, Mohit, Suhir, Mohit Suri. After which she did Chan and Chandra's Ye Mera India. And a special uh, appearance in Crook. Miley has been an actor, dancer, and performing actor, artist since she was 14. And she has been trained in dance under Shamak Dawar Institute and ha has done ballroom under Sandeep Supakar. Unfortunately, Sandeep is very busy with his class, so he is unable to join. He promised us that he will join, but he, he, he has his class. So he can always uh, join in the uh, and see uh, recording on YouTube. Smiley also did a mild cameo appearance on TV in Yoda Akbar as a lead Rukkaya. Then she participated in Nach Baliye 6. And after that, she did uh, uh, her um, acting in uh, Double Trouble. Then she was, she launched her beautiful career in Paul dancing, Paul fitness regime. And she launched her whole fitness school in Mumbai. And it is working very well. She is the first one who, she is the pioneer who related ball dancing to ball fitness. And it is amazing. She does very well. Another thing I would like to say about her, uh, through my personal experience also, that she is very compassionate towards animals and she has rescued many animals, find, found a good home for them and kept a few animals with her also. And the way she takes care of them, it's really, really beautiful thing that shows her beautiful soul. So this is what Smiley is, a beautiful soul, a beautiful actor, a beautiful human being. Over to Smiley, who will say a few words about her, what she can do, we can also do, right? So over to Smiley. Thank you, Nupurji. I mean, this is, means a lot. Uh, you've really made me feel uh, uh, very special. I'm, I mean, I, I don't think I've done... When you talk about it, I'm like, yeah, I've done a lot of work. But actually, you've, you've uh, made it sound very beautiful. Like, I've done a lot of work. But uh, yes, um, uh, I just feel, um, other than uh, my love for animals, I'm very passionate about everything whether it is pole or it is dancing or it is uh, rescuing animals. Uh, I just think I'm just somebody who would like to vibrate on the frequency of love and joy. That is the highest frequency and that I think uh, all of us vibrate on. Um, I, I just uh, have been lucky to or blessed to, uh, you know, be a survivor. Uh, life has had its ups and downs, but... Uh, I think I've always been in this survival mode and with all you people by my side who have been witness to my journey, uh, like Mr. Sandeep Soparkar, all my friends, all my dancing friends, Ankita, all of them who are here today. Um, I don't think I had time, Mukuji, you know that I, I didn't have time to sit and cry, but I had to get up and uh, restart everything. That's how poll also happened. And um, it's not just a fitness or a, a, you know, dance form for me. For me, it's healing for myself because it healed me. Uh, why I say if I can, you can is um, 
if I could do it uh, with my circumstances, I think anyone can do it. And um, like in pole, we have tricks. I just feel um, life also has a lot of tricks that we can embrace and, you know, I'm not saying find shortcuts, but at least um, get through. And we get through with the help of uh, all our friends and family. And uh, I'm constantly learning from them, from you, from everyone. Everything has uh, taught me something. So, uh, yes. And my recent, uh, something that taught me a, lo a lot recently was my play, thanks to Mr. Sandeep Soparkar and Smita Bharti ji, was uh, Ghat Ghat Me Panchi Bolta Hai, which that, that is really, um, that is an eye opener. It, it wasn't easy. Um, it's a great play. Uh, it's called the Sakshi, Sakshi Foundation. And it, it has um, a lot of uh, issues that we've all dealt with, whether it is being in the, you know, in a wrong marriage, handling relationships or uh, divorce, breaking up. And a lot of current relationships that people are not addressing also. You know, what people don't say, they say out a lot. Um, leaving your children with in unsafe hands that you think are safe. So uh, my character basically is a girl who's, uh, who's been raped at 15 and a uh, lot of such intense issues that women are facing and how they are dealing with it and how they get um, uh, past it. So I, I feel very lucky to be portraying and reliving these moments um, and the, it has a great star cast. Sitaji directed it very well. Mr. Deepso Parker plays, um, we call him a Panchi um, and the whole play is connected. Uh, there's uh, all age groups and people are play so, um, I'm playing a 19 year old and then there are all age groups and women and all things they go through also talking about the LGBTQA plus one community and um, finding love, losing love, being in um, a marriage that is not does not have love, has abuse, um, surviving, and um, taking things. There are a lot of things we all are going through in our day to day struggle, and how we are overcoming them. So, uh, I think as an actor or as a performer, the least we can do is um, is at least bring it. To bring it forward, and I've been very lucky to get characters that uh, have been intense, but uh, have been able to uh, sort of tell a story, set an example, or um, you know, just uh, uh, be out there and teach. Yes, they've been intense. They've taken a toll on me. They've triggered certain life events which I kept inside. But they've also healed me and uh, do come for the play. It's happening on the 5th um, at, at the Namthi Theatre in Rehija. So, um, yeah, that's my latest um, sort of addition to my resume. Is there anyone here? Are we asking questions? What are we doing? A minute. Oh, your mic. My mic? No, no, Purji's mic. Yeah. Let me. Now, can you hear? Yeah. Tell us something about your biggest challenge and how did you overcome it? I think my biggest challenge was uh, just a minute. This is another challenge. Data. My biggest challenge is running a house. I'm sure everyone understands. And uh, I, know, Purji, I know how much you have helped me. Everyone has helped me, healed me. Ankita's uh, mom, uh, Ankita knows very well. And everyone, um, I think my biggest challenge has been um, every time I lost someone or lost something or faced something big in my life, I have come back stronger. And uh, only because um, I didn't have a choice. Life left me choiceless. Uh, whether it was my marriage that broke up, after that, I did pole dancing. I remember when I was 16 when I had a very big head injury. Post that, I did, um, 
I, I went, I was dancing with Chama. I was, there was a big debacle I went through in my launch and Mr. Sandeep Subarkar was there to teach me ballroom dancing. Maybe I've healed through dance, but I just feel I'm destiny's child. And uh, there is a God who's had, uh, you know, my hand and has uh, looked out for me. Wow, that's great. And how do you manage your work-life balance? Because you are a very busy person, right? So how do you manage your work-life balance? Um, it's been tough. Uh, you know that, you know, especially yes. with my babies, my dogs. And, yes. Uh, uh, it's been very tough. But um, again, I have to ask people like you to help me, ask people like um, uh, Ankita's mom, uh, all the people I have friends with too, you know, it's okay to ask, reach out and ask for that help and say, please help me. I'm busy. Can you, you know, uh, help me in this such, such way? I've been very lucky to even meet doctors and healers and therapists who come forward and said, like recently when my dog Mambo passed away, it was a mess. It was a complete mess. And I couldn't, I was, uh, I had had a slip disc recently. It's day 104 today. And I couldn't even, uh, you know, stay up straight. But uh, I think it was uh, the help I got. You know, a lot of times we don't ask for help. We feel we can do it on our own. But it's okay to ask for help. How I balance it is, I don't know, again, there is a higher power that is, uh, I ask my angels to come down and help. But yeah, that's what I do. Wow, that's great. And uh, you get all the time the power of, uh, you know, higher beings and God and goddesses and people around you, angels around you who help you sail through all the difficulties, right? Now, uh, next of my question is, what important lessons of your life would you like to share with your audience? Number one, very important, is live and let live. Uh, be a good human being, I think. It takes time. Take the long road. Take the harsh road. You'll get there. Not, not, I'm still waiting to get there. Like my dream is that I want to do a Broadway musical as lead, like Chicago or something. But I know that will happen eventually. Um, but uh, be a good human being. Don't hurt anyone. Don't break anyone's heart. Because, uh, uh, you know, my dad used to tell me something that has stayed with me. That, you know, if you uh, clap for someone, I, I, I generally like clapping for people, especially when they've achieved something. And I clap with, you know, my heart open and I'm really happy for them. Um, so when you clap for other people with no ulterior motive, God will clap for you. So again, it boils down to just don't be jealous of anyone. Everyone has their own journey. There is a time and place for everyone. Uh, everything comes to you in the right time and uh, opportunity comes to people who are prepared and then they get success so stay prepared yes you are so right now lastly I would like to uh, ask you about your latest uh, theater experience that you did one theater uh, show and you were yes so you were mentioning in the beginning also I would like to ask you about what was your experience and what was your take on that? It was very difficult, especially this was serious theater. And Spitaj is a very good director. There were a lot of serious actors around me, uh, women again, who were uh, doing serious, good monologues. And you know, they are like how you say, Mahirs in the field. And I think it was, uh, their energy that I fed off. Uh, I'm very new and very. Uh, this is a. Uh, this was a very challenging space for me. I did feel very depressed and low because my character was something that had gone through a lot. Um, 
I started feeling sorry for her. And after a point, I, I don't know how I got into the character. And uh, it was a tough one. But, um, you know, like that adrenaline rush. I remember I was bedridden when Sitaji called me and said I couldn't move and I was bent. I remember I was completely bedridden when she called me. She said, come on, you have to do this character. And I'm coming and I will, I will uh, make you rehearse. And uh, I stood up, I stood up straight and I um, managed to travel all the way to Mad Island and rehearse with her, meet these beautiful other women. You know, I seriously believe, like someone told me that, or I think this is the same, that when you play basketball or when you play with somebody senior and better than you, you get better. So like I said, I fed off their energy and I'm very grateful to share a platform with all these women who did um, and um, the monologue itself um, so sweet Taranjit is saying Taranjit is part of the play and she's saying so sweet she was I mean they really kept me going all these women they uh, I remember my technical I was very bad I just I blanked out I completely blanked out and I was crying and uh, but all of them, uh, you know, called and checked on me in the night. And that is what I felt helped me. Uh, and I, I, again, something I believe is empowered women, empower women. It's very easy to pull each other down and rise up. But these women were different. Now I understand why they were given this play and these monologues was because they are strong women within and they have all a life story to tell and they all have helped me. So thank you so much. It was because of you, I blossomed. Wow. That's great. And uh, I would like to, um, you know, when you were uh, uh, doing this theater and uh, that time also, I used to hear a lot of stories, uh, of, uh, your experience regarding the theater. Any beautiful experience that you want to share uh, about this uh, particular uh, show uh, that uh, really touched your heart and you want to say something about your co-actors, co-producer, co-director and everyone around you at that time? So like I said, every monologue and every girl, every woman in the play has a very strong character and they're all linked. It's like two families and the problems uh, that have that we need to not brush away and we need to address um, you know whether it is dealing with pedophiles or dealing with uh, you know house abuse dealing with uh, uh, people who have depression and uh, are not seeking therapy and a lot of issues that are, we all know of and we don't would we wouldn't want to address. So this this play and Smitaji, I think, had the vision to cast the right people. And uh, all these women were so talented. And whenever I would sit and watch them, and I would say, "Wow!" Like each woman, I I, I used to. They were so good with what they did. Like whether it was Taranji or Shruti or Swarupaji or Padmaji, Indu, Sandeep, um, all of them, Mahima, all of them were so um, beautifully cast and how well with so much honesty and passion they uh, they played their role. I felt it, they, they were almost real. I was like, wow. Like, you know, and I learned from them that you can, first of all, the only thing an actor should do is know their lines. Once you know your lines, you can layer the character and you, then you start really feeling for the character and you can maybe become the character. So they're all theater maestros. So I learned a lot from everyone and I learned about myself too. Like I learned, uh, uh, you can have, uh, like I had pain in different parts of my body that went away when I would do my monologue. Like it would just disappear. Now call it an adrenaline rush or call it... Uh, uh, an emotional issue that I needed to overcome. I think theater, I would advise it for everyone. Uh, acting, creative writing, I would advise for everyone because you don't know how you change and how you... Dancing also. Dancing has been my prayer. 
you express what you would not normally express through the body. It's like tapasya. Yes, that was a beautiful journey uh, from your childhood to now. Now is the latest, uh, de uh, this uh, theater you have done and this dal dal pe panchi bolta hai, ghaad ghaad pe panchi ghaad bolta hai. Ah, ghaad ghaad pe panchi bolta hai. That was a beautiful experience for you. And I heard that you said that now I am thinking that I am acting. Now I'm thinking that yeah. this is the time I learned the real basic of acting, right? So you are, you have done a lot and still you are learning. That is the spirit we want in every woman. And you are, you know, you, you are the icon. You are the person who is uh, leading the torch to spread in the world, shining bright. And uh, really, we appreciate you. I appreciate you, your will to move on, your will to fight on, your, your will to face the challenges, whatever the challenges are, even in the field of uh, acting or dancing or in your life also, because I know that you have faced many challenges over there and you have sailed through like, you know, very smoothly due to all the angels around you and i am due to you that. also you can see so <laughs> much I'm just one of them but lot many angels are around you who are helping you to sail who are helping you and motivating you and you know helping in many other ways that no one can why because you are angel yourself you Thank are you, person you. and you are caring for everyone though whether they are uh, you know, animals, whether they are uh, those people who are nobody, you care for each and every one like as your own. That is very important trait of a person who is really very good at heart. Really? Who is, who is really fighting, who is really, when the gold uh, comes out, it comes shining after beating up. So you yeah. are like that soul, that gold, which is shining bright after a lot of hammering, right? So that is what I see you as a beautiful person, a beautiful soul, pure soul. So I would like to thank you for so Thank you. Sharing. Thank you, Purji. I have not felt this lovely. I feel like crying. Uh, but... Um, Thank you for being so supportive and I want to thank all the people who have made it today, the Sunday morning and thank you for coming for me. Uh, I, I can't, I mean, I've seen a few but I can't see any more but I just want to say thank you every soul that has uh, touched my life in a good or a bad way. Uh, I guess this was scripted. Uh, we scripted this, like we say, we choose our mother, our, fam our family, Everyone. our people. I just feel... I've been part of a very good script then uh, yes. and got to play this role and uh, hopefully um, I wish I could do more for people and for animals and you know do more but hopefully the universe will give me this opportunity to, uh, yes. to do this. Of course. Of course. And now uh, since uh, we would like to Request audience also to ask some questions if they have any to smiley. The floor is open for the audience to ask questions. I have a question here. Hi, Ankita. Hello. Hello. So please tell me how important it is uh, for a lady, especially, or for that matter, anybody to learn or keep learning a skill in a day to day life to make sure that you are upgraded and happy. How does Very it important. Very important. And you are a walking, talking example of that. Uh, I've seen your journey and I've seen how uh, you are still always learning and working hard and teaching. Rupuji, I must tell you, Ankita has been this, uh, seen her since she was a baby. She's like my little sister. She is one girl who you know, has been, has come from a background, she's very quiet and very, um, 
you know, docile, but how... I might still run away. away. (laughs) I might still run away. Let's not put it on me. (laughs) No, no, no. I know. I'm saying like, I'm just saying that uh, we all do it, but we don't give ourselves enough credit. Yes, it is very important to keep learning. Um, uh, I remember you, I used to see you working so hard and not give up and fit yourself into a workspace that you were completely alien from, but you made that, you were ruling that place. You were the queen of the dance floor and you were, you still are. And you made sure that you take this to Gohati and teach that in ballroom dancing there. And so it's very important to um, challenge yourself. Don't do it for anybody, do it for yourself. And yes, of course, learning skills very important. Uh, thanks to Nukurji, I was bedridden and I was uh, I learned tarot thanks to her. So um, yeah, we have to constantly keep learning here, yeah. and everything teaches us something. So it's very important for every woman at any age. Thank you, Ankita. Thank you so much for asking a beautiful question to smile. Anyone else who would like to say something? Taranjit, you were saying something on message. Can you please come online and say if you you can ask or say about Smiley or for Smiley? Uh, sorry, I'm out right now, so I cannot switch on my video. But no uh, it's been, I've uh, recently met Smiley like few months ago, and it's been a wonderful experience working with her, collaborating, and I think she's absolutely f- uh, brilliant on stage. And she has a very good energy and very uh, supportive as a co-actor. I'm so impressed seeing her work in pole dancing because I've never been a dancer and that's something that really scares me. So I have a question for Smiley that um, how do you think pole dancer uh, dancing, uh, learning the skill can help an actor uh, in their field and also somebody who's a non-actor like just has no uh, connection with arts or oh, how does uh, learning that skill how it can help other people so uh, actor or no actor pole dancing I remember really empowered me I was at a time in my life where I didn't feel beautiful I felt defeated and I was doing aerial silk and everything, but I didn't feel uh, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel confident. It's when I did my first pole class in Dubai, I remember that was by accident because an aerial teacher didn't come and pole teacher walked in. So I was saying, I was like, wow, this is, and when I held the pole and I walked for the first time in yields, I felt like, wow, I am beautiful. So kami mere bhi nahi hai. So, uh, for actor, I get a lot of housewives. And again, women like Ghatkat Me, uh, Panchi Bodha, a lot of women who are fighting depression. You know, when they come and when they touch my pole, only I can come to know that what they are, either they're control freaks or they're going through something in life. You know, and I don't know why in our country we've been taught not to feel good about yourself, not to feel beautiful, not to feel sexy when we are the land of the Kama Sutra. Uh, so it is, you know, women these days are not feeling feminine. I won't even say sexy or sensual. Feeling feminine. I was a tomboy for the longest time. I still am. I'll still wear pajamas or I'll still wear shorts. Wearing that dress or that salwar kameez or that skirt. Feminine energy is very important. We don't need to compete with men. You know, that's very important. We can be housemakers. We can be homemakers, we can be actors, and we can be also uh, feminine. So to not lose that is what I learned. And I like to empower women only with that, Taranjit. Like you yourself are such an empowering woman. You know, even it shows in every... uh, Taranjit in the night, I remember, had called me when I was crying and crying and crying. I don't know how she sensed it. But she called me some at two in the night and she said, don't worry, Smiley, tomorrow you will do very well. Just relax, you're not crying. No. So again, empowered women, empower women and pole dancing teaches you that. Um, I've seen abroad, even in competitions and stuff, women in hijab in Egypt are doing pole. And they are um, just, 
you know, empowering each other, screaming for each other, cheering each other, even if they're having a competition. And uh, I feel like, yeah, Kamal hai. Matlab, ye to compete kar rahe hai, dusre ke saath pade, dusre ko. Because they are celebrating somebody's, uh, they're celebrating a woman's win. When a woman comes of her own, maybe I call it, it's the Shakti within, you know, that you embrace. And my pole camp was called Shakti also for that reason. When you really embrace, I mean, we are the land of Durga Ji, Mother Mary, uh, you know. Uh, so I believe God is a woman. And um, that's what I would like to believe. And um, I just feel embracing that power, it comes very easily with pole. So that is what helps actors and women, housewives, everyone. In fact, I don't get uh, too many actors who do pole. Or dancers. I get all normal people, doctors now, pilots, lot of normal people who come. So beautiful. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing this, Smiley. And I think I'm glad you mentioned that, you know, how we have this, we come from this land and I've always felt very feminine and always felt very sexy about myself. And yeah, uh, the surprising thing is that most of the time in my life, I've been let down by women in my own circle and right. pointing out that oh how can you always be so sexy and I think probably either they're insecure or jealous but it's never men who are pointing it out it's always the yeah. Women. So, yeah. Uh, yeah and I look forward to attending your pole dancing classes very soon thank you come 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 soon yes 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 I'm coming very soon just need a break from my rehearsals and I yeah jump. okay thank you Thank you, Taranjit. Thank you so much for uh, being with us, though you are traveling also. Um, and uh, there's uh, one uh, Mukul who has said very, uh, very well articulated Smiley Ji. And then Suraj Chauhan who says Smiley has a quality of reading tarot card also. Yes, Smiley <laughs> is multi-talented and uh, she is doing very well in different arenas of life. She is a good cook also. She is a good caregiver. She is what not. Cook very bad. Cook very ah, bad. Of course not. You take good care of uh, your uh, people who are around you. <laughs> Ankita is laughing. She knows also. what a great cook I'm, I am. I'm laughing because I think we all just managed to cook what we like to eat. <laughs> and it better, or it better taste good to people around us. No, you won't get it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. he is really a good caregiver by cooking the uh, meal that the person need or a, a, a living being we need, need. For example, I tell you one example: Mambo, uh, Mambo, or Magic. Someone didn't have teeth. Magic didn't Magic. have. Teeth. She used to uh, ask her girl to mash everything in mixi and give it to that uh, animal. So she was very caring and uh, she used to use her brain to cook things what a person needs or what that per, uh, that little uh, uh, per, uh, animal who doesn't know how to speak what uh, it needs and she will understand that. And regarding tarot reading, she's very intuitive. I would say uh, I don't have to teach anything. She will just flow, just, sit, just start flowing from her. So that is one thing which uh, I appreciate in Smiley, she's a quick learner in whatever she does. And she is really very good at keep learning process. So this is one thing which many people don't have because learning is a continuous process. So she's the one who is learning all the time. Every time she faces something, oh, this, I like to learn this one. And she is bent upon learning everything. <laughs> and she will go inside it and learn and perfect it. She's a perfectionist also. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Nupurji. Itna mujhe kisi ne me chane ke jhar pe chhar gayi wabi. Bilkul pe nahi. Nahi nahi. Bilkul. Your foundation is very strong, right? And that's why you are teaching others also. That's why you are teaching Paul also to others. So yeah. I, I really appreciate your, uh, you know, motivation to teach others also. First you learn, you perfect it, and then you teach. Otherwise, you are not a teacher, right? So, um, anyone else who would like to ask any questions or want to know more about Smiley? I think so. Someone would like to ask. 
Yes, Ankita, I think so. You can also ask, join in, and if you have any anything in your mind, you can ask. Ankita knows everything about my life. She knows <laughs> what I'm doing also. But we would like to talk to some younger sister. <laughs> I think I would want to ask that out of all the different aspects in your career or your life that you've had in terms of making it a professional uh, thing, which is the most challenging and the most favorite yes. one of yours? Um, so very good question, but, uh, the most challenging I find, uh, human relationship, I'm, I'm not very good with dealing. I, I am a loner. Uh, I can be an extrovert also, but, uh, I think where I fail is I'm a very frank person. So I will tell you to your face if I don't like you. And um, I don't know how good it is in today's day and time. So I'm still trying to master the art of being politically correct. I'm not politically correct. So human relationships and uh, HR, jaise hum bolte, uh, I don't think I'm good at. What I do enjoy, again, is uh, dancing and acting. So you are the not popular HR in your office. <laughs> I am you are not popular HR on the face of the planet only. <laughs> so I can't I can't hide any emotion. It just shows. It just shows. That, that comes in very naturally when you're in a creative field. We end up expressing every single bit inside us and it Yeah. It's good and it, it has its own things. Yeah. Yeah. That is so true, Ankita, that uh, whatever is uh, the person who is an artist or who is into the art field, they will they won't be able to hide their emotions because it comes from... Yeah, we can't. We, yeah. I don't know what we can. Because they are all pure in heart. When you are pure in heart, it will all come and you, it will be visible on your face or in your action or in your word. Even you will cry very quickly. Even I always yeah. cry. Yeah. <laughs> very easily. <laughs> <laughs> we could we yeah. could even give away a very slight hint using our eyes also. I, our, our eyes very easily go from being nice to like, did you just do that? Very, yeah. very quick. <laughs> so it's very harmful for people around and it's very good for us, I think. We don't yeah, keep anything yeah. inside. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good thing. And when you don't bottle up emotions, what will happen? You are more healthier in mind also and body also. Definitely. That is very important. So that's really very good. And... Uh, uh, Smiley, would you like to say something more? Um, nothing. I would just like to say, be positive, be happy, be a good human being and don't do anything that you don't want to be done to you because karma comes around. Yes, that is so true. Thank you, Ankita. For, uh, Thank being you, Ankita. Uh, uh, being Thank with you us. for letting me be a part of this amazing discussion. Thank yes. you, Lopoji. And thank you, Smiley. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Love thank you. you. Smiley. Thank you all the audience over here. And thank you, Shavana. Thank you, Marvin. Thank team. you, Shavana. Yeah, she is our founder and uh, she is very much with us. And thank you, everyone who are here to, uh, to uh, you know, encourage the women power, right? Yes. So we thank are all you, women working for you. women. And uh, we are creating a ripple effect in this world. So thank you very much. And we will see you soon.